Hi, I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Today we're going to visit another fascinating neighborhood here in Paris, Les Champs-Elysees. We'll get a taste of its glitz, its glamour, and of course, a little bit of history. The Champs-Élysées is located on the right bank of Paris. It starts at the beautiful Place de la Concorde and works its way up little by little to the Arc of Triumph. The Champs-Élysées was built in 1667 by Le Nôtre, the king's landscape architect for Louis XV, to make an elegant road between his summer palace at Saint-Germain-en-Laye and the Louvre. Under the Second Empire of Napoleon III, the avenue became even more attractive with fountains, restaurants and theaters that would turn the Champs-Élysées into the playground of the French rich and famous. We will start our stroll at the beginning of the Champs-Élysées in Place de la Concorde. It's almost impossible to find a more royal and also revolutionary place in Paris. Commissioned by King Louis XV in the 17th century, La Concorde, as Parisians call it, is rich with refined statues, monumental fountains flanked by the Assemblée Nationale or the French Parliament. Royalty is also reflected in the golden covered fountains and the formal royal gardens, the Tuileries. But that's where the royal connections end, literally, as the Place de la Concorde was also the home to the guillotine during the French Revolution, where Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette met their fateful demise. The guillotine has since been replaced with the mysterious Egyptian obelisk from Luxor. They say diamonds are a girl's best friend. Nowhere is this perhaps more apparent than along Avenue Montaigne, famous for its haute couture shops. Chanel, Dior, Louis Vuitton, and many more can be found here. Add a fantastic theater and a glamorous cafe for the perfect recipe of indescribable chic. Take a break at the Sex in the City hotspot, the Plaza Athene, to sip a martini and star watch. Now that you know you're surrounded by a history of pleasure and glory, it's time to shop. Well, my friends, the Champs-Élysées is certainly the right place for that. The street has a fantastic selection of clothing, shoes, perfume, pastries, music, and bookshops. Don't miss the famous drugstore at the end of the avenue or the Monoprix at the corner of Rue de la Boétie to buy groceries to cook in the kitchen of your vacation rental. You're sure to be tired after a long day of shopping on the Champs-Élysées. So why not rent one of the many Paris vacation rentals that New York Habitat has to offer? New York Habitat offers both short and long-term furnished rentals all over this beautiful city. Don't just visit Paris, live Paris like a true local. Along with the Eiffel Tower, the magnificent Grand and Petit Palais were built for the 1900 World's Fair. The Grand Palais was inspired by London's Crystal Palace and today it's mostly used for major art exhibitions. Across the road is the Petit Palais, though not less prestigious despite its petite name. Inside is a very lovely museum which just so happens to have free admission, so you can quickly pop in to have a look at its eclectic collection of art from Roman times to the 20th century. Have a look further down the street and you can admire the Golden Dome of Les Invalides and the Pont Alexandre III, one of the nicest bridges of the city, with its flying horses covered once again in gold. Tucked in behind the Petit Palais, you will find the Le Doyen, one of French cuisine's finest restaurants which dates back to Louis XVI. In front of the Petit Palais, you'll find statues of two remarkable leaders. The first one is British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and the other is the French President Clemenceau. Across the street in front of the Grand Palais is the Grand General de Gaulle. These statues are located in a fitting place as this is where Parisians gathered on the Champs-Élysées in 1944 to celebrate the liberation of the country. Well, thank you for joining us today for this visit of the Champs-Élysées here in Paris. We covered a few of the highlights in this fantastic neighborhood, but if you know of any others, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below.
And don't forget to visit our website at nyhabitat.com. You'll find vacation rentals and furnished apartments in the Champs-Élysées area, as well as all over Paris. It truly is the best way to experience the City of Light. I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. I hope to see you soon taking a stroll along the Champs-Élysées.